Good morning, good people. I am Brother Mark Shank, Provincial Minister of the Capuchin Province of St. Conrad. I'm based in Denver, Colorado, and I'm speaking to you from the Chapel of St. Francis Friary. It's Memorial Day, a day when we in the United States take a break from our usual activities to remember, honor, and thank all those who have died while serving in our country as a member of the armed forces. These brave men and women sacrificed their own lives to protect the values for which our country stands. Memorial Day has its symbols and rituals. We place flowers and flags on the graves of our veterans. In many places, people wear poppies, reminiscent of the poppies in Flanders Field, where so many soldiers died in World War I. Some of our friars are now serving as military chaplains, and we've had many who've served in the past, providing spiritual guidance and being present at the hour of death of these brave men and women. Captions have their own traditions for remembering and honoring their dead, one that goes back several centuries. It's called the Ultima, a hymn to our Mother Mary, asking her to intercede on our behalf at the hour of our death. We sing it in four languages, which are representative of our heritage and the people we serve today. Because of social distancing, we could not get together to record the Ultima for today's video. So allow me to recite the English verse for you. When the shades of death are falling, on your son in prayer calling, gain us grace to pe in peace to die, Virgin Mother, Queen Most High. It may sound morbid to modern ears, but St. Francis had a particular view of death which he called his sister. Following in his footsteps, Capuchin spirituality often calls us to contemplate our own death we know that this earth is not our final home and that death is merely the passageway to our new heavenly home. It is not to be feared, therefore, but embraced. We remember with gratitude all those who died in the service of their country as members of the armed forces. May our Mother Mary continue to intercede on their behalf. God bless you all and be assured of our daily prayers.